Hi, Gemini. My air sign, Gemini. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to the channel. If you are new and you've never been here before, this is Queen of Wands 1111 Tarot LLC here to do y'all April love reading. This is general, so take the cards that resonate with you and leave what does not. For all my returning subscribers, I just want to take some time out to say thank y'all so much for all the love and support. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Thank y'all for leaving y'all comments. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for all the donations that you guys send. Y'all show y'all girl so much love and support. And I just want to say thank you. All right. So for all my returning subscribers, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. So let's get into y'all messages for um, April 2024. Let's see what April has in store for you. And let's see what the universe wants you guys to know. All right. How y'all doing? How y'all doing on this beautiful day? Are you inside watching? Are you outside watching? Are you relaxing? Mm -hmm gift okay so there's a surprise coming in for you something you've been wanting or waiting for is coming all right i feel like somebody wants to give you some sort of gift here yeah this person may have spent all their money on this gift or they just don't have any money to take you out even though they want to all right hmm i feel like you met this person in the winter season or by the winter season, you're going to be in this energy where you're tired of being alone and want someone who knows your worth. For some of you, this person's birthday could be in the winter months. All right. But I feel like you're leveling up. You're getting a new car. You're making money. You may be entering a new career. You're financially stable or you will be in the near future. I feel like there is someone that is in your energy. You're not giving any more chances to. It says, I can't trust you. You hurt me time after time. Yeah, your lesson is learned dealing with this person. But I feel like somebody here is ready for love. This could be someone new or this person that you're not giving any more chances to. They don't want to play any games. They want commitment. They're emotionally available. They know how to treat a woman or a man. All right. And I feel like things may have been moving slow between the two of y'all in this connection. Or this is somebody new that you're getting to know to see if you two are compatible. And you could be taking your time and moving slow with this person. Let's see. Messages for Gemini. Yeah. Somebody's obsessed with you. It says, I'm yours, your mind. The chemistry is insane and I can't keep my hands off of you. Yeah, I feel like you are going to be feeling this energy where you're on top of the world. There's multiple options coming in towards you. Dates booming. I feel like these people are ready for love. All right. Somebody's already involved here. So it says run, things will not change, keep moving forward. They will only tell you what you want to hear. I feel like somebody's going to chase you down, Gemini. They don't want to leave you alone. They will keep trying. All right. Mm. So they're already involved, but they want you. <laughs> it's like, mm -mm. but I feel like somebody's going to be generous to you. It says here, baby, go do something nice for yourself. So they're going to give you some money or oh, this is somebody you've been trying to help out. Yeah. Some of y'all at home a lot. Some of y'all need to get out the house or you could be moving and relocating here. And somebody wants to move in with you. They want to make it official. Hmm. Who is this person? They're wondering if they should stay or leave. This could be you. But the ball is in somebody's court. And I feel like it's time for someone to make a decision. Somebody wants to take you to a luxury suite. Spend the night together. It says, I want to spend time with you. Fireworks hot and heavy. Or this is just saying that you like to live in luxury or somebody's home could be of luxury. Somebody's home could be really, really nice. But whoever this is, is a snake. Okay. Someone acts like they care, but they don't. I feel like this person broke your heart. Something you saw was painful, heart hurting, you were sad or depressed, or this person texted you something that hurt you, or you text them something. You said something to them. All right, take it how it resonate, but I feel like this person is yearning for you. They're missing you. They're thinking about the good times. They never had someone like you, and I do feel like they see you as someone who is special. 
They love the way that you treat them because your actions speak louder than words. But I also see your energy as you being frustrated with this person. You're tired of this person's shit. You're overloaded. You're burnt out with this person's energy because I feel like this person keeps putting you through the same cycles over and over again. And there's a wake up call. It says break the cycle, positive change. Yeah. Somebody is here that you rejected. Mm hmm. So y'all could have been married or um, just in a relationship, but I feel like there was a separation split time apart or y'all just needed a break from one another. And this person could be sitting by a bed of water in their emotions about you or this person here is feeling alone or you like your alone time. You could be withdrawn, antisocial, contemplating. Yeah, I feel like there's new love coming in for you. So this air sign, Gemini, it could be another Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. Somebody's really smart. They're a great communicator. They're creative, generous. All right. I feel like they are thinkers. So they think outside the box. Okay. Y'all may have um, times where y'all brainstorm with this person. Hmm. So let's see what messages is coming through for my Gemini. So there is new love here. All right. And then there's someone here that you're not giving any chances to. This person is obsessed with you. They're thinking about you. They're missing you. But they're already involved. But then they still want you. So it's like, why do they still want you if they're already involved? All right. I feel like they don't want to completely like walk away from you. They're still holding on to you. But they're also attached to somebody here that they can't let go of. Gemini, all right. They want to move in with you and all of that, but it's like they will leave their person behind and tell you whatever you want to hear just to come and be with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, this person is somebody who's shady. They wear a mask. They do shady shit behind your back. They keep a lot of secrets. They have a lot of mixed signals here. All right, they have options too. They talk to different people or sleep with other people. Could be online here. People that they met on the streets or online. Yeah, this person is losing sleep. They feel like you may have options too. They're worried that one of these options is going to take you away from them. They're replaying events over and over again in their mind. They're thinking about you. I feel like you are enhancing in your spiritual gifts. Or you told this person about your spiritual gifts. You could be doing yoga. You could be like uh, centering yourself and at peace here. You're spiritually gifted. Okay, I feel like you're going to get some shocking news about something. Yeah, love, hate type of relationship. So this person loves you, but they hate your spiritual gifts. They hate you at the same time. It's like, how can you do that? It's like they love you, but they hate you at the same time. Whatever you do, like your spirituality or whatever you believe in or your gifts here, it's like they hate that. All right. This person is trying to cope, you know, by drinking, popping pills, numb out. All right. They don't want to face reality here. Okay. I feel like they're delusional. I feel like they really do feel like they're going to have another chance with you. All right. You're giving them the side eye. This person is coming back with some sort of an apology or a romantic gesture, but you're unsure of this person. Okay. They have hidden motives or you're, you're like, well, what is your motive? What are you here for? Like, what do you want? All right, you're just unsure of this person. I feel like you're living in the moment. I feel like you really don't care what happened between you and this person in the past. You're looking towards the future. And I feel like this person is feeling like shit because they don't have you in their life. They could be laying in bed, being lazy, not cleaning, you know, not not, not um, grooming themselves. I feel like this person tried to trap you. Yeah, they could be doing some sort of love spell on you, but I feel like you're praying. You could be returning this love spell back to the sender. You keep in faith, healing. I do see meditation. This person is receiving karma. Okay, there's a lot of drama in their life. Endings, losses. They are suffering a mental breakdown, okay? A firestorm is being lit under their ass. I feel like this person does love you, okay? And they want to reconcile with you. But they feel like you may be talking to different people. Or this person has secret uh, accounts, dating apps in their computer, tablet, or phone. Could be Facebook, Instagram, Tinder here. All right? This person is a psycho crazy ex who's obsessed with you and won't let you go. Or there's a psycho crazy ex in your person's energy who won't let them go. 
All right, and I feel like you're discovering this truth about them. Mm -hmm. Two cards fell out. So yeah, you got some sort of evidence, proof about something. This could be like a background check. You may have ran a report on this person or um, you looked up their history, their criminal history, or you got some sort of text messages, pictures, something, some sort of video, something here. You got evidence about something and I feel like you're fed up with this shit. All right. So you got some sort of evidence on this person, but I do feel like this person is thinking about the memories that they share between the two of you. Okay. They're stuck on the past here. All right. But I just feel like you are standing your ground, wearing your crown here. You're um, more confident, secure. You're a boss or boss bitch. You're career focused. You showing up in this energy as the queen bee. And I do feel like this person that is in your energy is dealing with a Jezebel. You know, someone that's a hoe, a prostitute, sleeps around for money, sleeps around for attention. You know, they could be on OnlyFans or um, they just want your person's money. And I feel like you are a divine feminine. So you don't do what this karmic does. Okay, you don't need to sleep around for attention or destroy homes like um, as far as happy homes, families, like marriages and things like that. Because I do feel like you had a family with this person and this karmic destroyed it. They came in between you and your person and was sleeping with your person for money. And this person is, is running, trying to run away from this karmic or running from themselves, trying to uh, run from like facing the music or running from reality here. They're not trying to face something. Let's get some more messages for y'all. Gemini. What's this? They try to pop out. Yeah, somebody's going to want to take you out on a date, court you. All right, they're going to want to meet up with you. All right, yeah. So I feel like some of y'all could be um, being asked to go out on a date. Somebody could be taking you out on a date. I feel like your person is getting signs and synchronicities about you. I'm seeing the letters 2-2 two, two, and two so you could be seeing two 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 a lot i'm seeing the number eight somebody's initials could begin or end with b h or m but they're getting messages from the universe yeah i feel like um you're getting messages from the universe about this person who wants to take you on a date as well you may start to develop romantic feelings for this person falling in love with them you know this person may show you some affection or you or both of you are showing each other affection i feel like there's happiness in your energy um you have emotions for somebody or somebody is going to have emotions for you yeah i do see somebody uh, popping the question to you wanting to propose wanting to you know be your fiance which come true here and i feel like this person's energy is healing or you're healing Okay, you're healing your wounds, you're improving, you're mending. I see progress here. And I do feel like this past person is in fear. Okay, they're in fear of facing karma. They're afraid, uneasy, scared, they're suspicious. Okay, I feel like they're really scared here because uh, a lot of you are getting married. Mm -hmm. You're getting married to your person, the one. There's going to be a union between like the two of you. I feel like you're going to have forever with this person. And I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk here, and roll the dice. Yep, I really do feel like that. Some of you are getting married. Yep, you're coming off as very mysterious here. And I feel like this person is heartbroken, all right? They hurt you, betrayed you. There was some grief and disappointment in your energy. But I feel like they're heartbroken because they're in regret, okay? Yeah, they made a mistake. They're guilty. They made the wrong choice. They owe you an apology. And I feel like you found out the truth or they want to tell you some sort of truth here. The truth is going to be exposed. I see a confession, clarity, reveal, and secrets. But it's not the right time. I feel like this person had you in a toxic relationship, had you in a third party situation. They was in a relationship with somebody else and it caused a lot of drama, obstacles, upheavals, wrecking ball. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do see that um, something was unexpected here. It's, it was a surprise to somebody here. That you travel far away from this person. You're at a distance from them. You went on vacation. You're setting boundaries. You're evolving. You're transforming. You're changing. You're having an epiphany. You're going through a spiritual awakening. And I see that this person from your past has unfinished business with you. So even though you guys are um, going to be in a new relationship, if you're not already, I do feel like this person from your past is going to show back up trying to get back into your energy somehow. Let's get a few more messages, and then we're going to jump into your tarot. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, share, comment, and subscribe. This was too intense for me. Yeah, that's why they ran. 
it was too intense. It was too much for them. All right. It was just too much for them. And this person, they do not see themselves letting you go at all. Yeah, it says, let's take it to the next level. They want to move in. They want to get married real quick. But I feel like you moved on. Male or female, you moved on. Because this person is non-committal. They feel like y'all have great chemistry together. They feel like y'all have a lot in common. But you may not feel that same energy. What's this? Yeah, we can't tell anybody about us. So if you're in a relationship, you want to keep this private. For some of you, you don't want anyone to know about y'all. Or this person was being sneaky, sneaking around the hotels, not wanting nobody to know about them too. I feel like this may be somebody you know that was messing around with your person. For some of you, not all of you. Yep, there was someone else. Okay, but I feel like they want to run away with you. They just want to be with you, all right? But they was using you for supply, and I feel like they're not doing well without you because you was like their best supply, all right? This person is a narcissist, so yeah, they had multiple options here, but you was like their best supply. Now they're realizing that you are their person. They haven't told you everything, so I feel like this person... Is keeping secrets from you, but they're going to be reaching out soon. So expect to get communication from this person for some of you. Yeah, again, they wanted to trap you. I feel like they wanted to trap you with a baby. If y'all don't have a family together already, I feel like they wanted to trap you with a baby. All right. Some of y'all, they may have a family outside of y'all connection, but I feel like this person is obsessed with you. They are. They're very obsessed with you. Give me a, two more for Gemini. That's one. Yeah, they used you for personal gain or they're trying to get something out of you. That's why they want to um, get you back. They're trying to sneak back into your life to take something from you or use you for their own personal gain. So this person could be trying to trick you into something. Yeah, they stalk your social media. I feel like this person is going to be popping up at your house. They want to call you. They want to see you. Mm. You make them happy. But I feel like you were the catalyst for their healing, vice versa, because they broke your heart. Mm. Let's get some tarot, you guys. Hit that bell, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. All right, let's get some messages from the tarot for Gemini, summer rising, male or female, Geminis. What messages does the universe want you guys to know? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to have um, like a long lasting bond with somebody. There's going to be like some sort of um, longevity with somebody here. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Y'all may blend families. Okay. Y'all may get married or this person is committal. They believe in monogamy. But I feel like this is something that the universe is hiding from you. All right. Or this is somebody here that you had a blended family with. You felt like you would have long term with this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this person kept you in the dark about a lot of things, try to hide you, try to hide the fact that they already had a family or you didn't have clarity. You didn't know where you stood with this person. Um, I feel like this person was keeping a lot of things hidden from you, keeping a lot of secrets. Okay. They was keeping a secret that they was married with the Hierophant here. Yeah. It could be a Taurus or a Cancer. Yeah, this person was trying to win at all costs. This person is deceptive, manipulative. This person is a loser. This person is somebody that is um, trying to one-up you or just somebody here that plays a lot of head games, mind games with the Five of Swords. They're very spiteful. They're jealous. How's this person jealous? Oh, okay. So I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this person didn't take you seriously. Okay. I feel like this person was just trying to do their own thing, sleep around with other people. Um, This person was playing the field with you, trying to buy time, not moving. This person was stuck in their energy. You know, they were sleeping with somebody else for some of you. But I feel like they was playing the field with you, not taking you seriously here. Not, you know, moving forward, not making you this offer that you deserve. 
not giving you a higher level of commitment because they were already in a committed relationship here. Yeah, this person was juggling you and another person with the two of pinnacles towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And I feel like this person didn't know who to choose or they was going back and forth between you and another person. Or this could be that somebody was living a double life. They're a two-timer, okay? And they're under judgment. I feel like they try to judge you about something here or you're just being enlightened to a situation here. All right. And I feel like this person does want a second chance with you. All right. They're stressed out. Aquarius, Libra, could be another Gemini. They're stressed out. They're staying up all night. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They're worried. They're worried about this judgment that they're facing. What's this? That flip. Yeah. Three of Cups. They're worried that you're, you're going to put yourself back out there on the dating scene and go on a date with somebody else. Kick it, drink, have fun, laugh, smile with somebody else. Or they could be um, fearing um, something involving this third party situation. Like they're worried, they're scared, they're, they feel guilty because of some sort of third party situation here. Yeah, three of cups, three of swords. There was a third party situation. I feel like this person broke your heart. They called you some sort of grief, disappointment, um, disaster, sorrow. I do feel like this person is miserable because you're happy, you're celebrating, you're being celebrated here. You may still be upset or hurt about what this person did to you, but I do feel like y'all in separation here. Okay, They could be fearing that this third party is going to also break their heart too because I feel like they didn't want to get their heart broken. What's this? Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. You don't see this person as the one. You don't. And I feel like y'all are separated or divorced. Or somebody here is. So they could be getting divorced by a third party. A third party could be divorcing them if they're married. Okay, they're losing friends around them. Or y'all just been having arguments. You know what I'm saying? This person has no respect um there's no love here between the two of you you have no love for this person this person just wanted to have sex with the ace of wands yeah because you you fine you look good you fire i feel like um they're attracted to you this person is turned on by you they get hard they get horny whenever they look at you or whenever they're in your energy i feel like you are sitting on your throne you're more confident you are um, going after what you want. You're a go-getter. I feel like you are just sitting on your throne. Yeah, you're closing out this cycle here. All right. This could be your baby mama you closing the cycle out with or just somebody that you distance yourself from. But they don't want you to close this cycle on them. All right. Whoever this Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo is. But I feel like you're entering a new life phase. I feel like you're getting into a new relationship or a new job, new career. You could be traveling here with the world. Um, you could be getting pregnant by somebody else that you're going to be in a relationship with. And you're turning your back on this person to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there. Because I feel like you guys did want this relationship to work. But it's like with the King of Swords, this person needs to be honest with themselves about the options they was keeping. They was causing confusion and illusion in you guys' connection here. They was living in some sort of an illusion. All right. This person was treating you as an option here. And I feel like this person is still waiting for you to like come back and work things out with them. But I feel like you just focus on your work and your career. Okay. I feel like you speaking your truth here. If you do talk to this person or you're just cold and detached towards this person and they trying to play it cool. They trying to act nonchalant like it doesn't bother them, but the, it really does. I feel like they're confused because they've never seen you in this energy before. Now this person is fantasizing about, about you, daydreaming about you. They think about you when they wake up. They think about you when they go to sleep at night. Yeah. Cause you're the empress. Yeah, you may be pregnant or you may have children with this person already. You may have a child with this person or you're giving birth to something new if you don't have children with this person. But I feel like you're intuitive, mind, body, and soul. You look so good. You're so beautiful. You are fine. Male or female, you is fine here. Okay, I do feel like you guys are abundant. You're not going to settle for anything less than you truly feel like you deserve here. And I feel like you invested a lot of time, money, energy into this person. 
and I feel like you didn't want to give this up in the past because you felt like this person was your soulmate, your divine counterpart. Okay, because the emperor is here too. But I feel like this person was hiding or ghosted somebody they was married to because they had feelings for you because they was in love with you. Yeah, they have emotions for you and they think about you. They stressed out. They're in their head. But I feel like you're bossing up, taking control of a situation here. Yeah, you're happy. You could be celebrating like your father's birthday or your uncle or your boss is having like some sort of retirement party or your boss is having a birthday party. Um, you could be like remodeling or redecorating a home. You could be painting. You could be putting up plants or new furniture here if you moved. Okay, if you're in the midst of moving, I feel like you are finding a new home. You're close to finding this new home. It's going to be very pretty. All right, I feel like um, you guys are happy. You guys are celebrating. You know, this person wants you to take them seriously. I feel like you want this person to take you seriously as well. Y'all talked about moving in together, getting married, or getting engaged. And you just want things to be fair between the two of you. You just want this person to take accountability. All right? I feel like this person here um, could be a Libran. They want to do things right by the book. They want to bring balance into the relationship between the two of you. But I feel like they snuck off from somebody else. They snuck off. They ran away from someone. Or this person just cannot be trusted. I feel like they got some legal issues going on here. Yeah, if they ran away from somebody else, I feel like they wanted to come towards you really quickly. Love bomb you. You know, um, just talk to you. Send you long paragraphs of messages here if they are trying to reach out to you. But they could be lying about what they're saying. Or you just don't trust what they're saying. You just don't believe what they're saying. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like you are the Ten of Cups. You are this person's like emotional fulfillment. You are emotional fulfillment whenever this person is around you. This person is happy when they're around you, but I also feel like they are married for some of you. They could be lying and love bombing you, telling you like things about their marriage here. Or telling you that you make them happy and they love you. They could be crying. Yeah, I feel like there's an angelic being around you, loved one who passed away, who's watching you, who's guiding you. This could be a spirit guide or an angel, a guardian angel with a temperance card. I feel like you're an earth angel. Your your energy is peaceful. This uh, person knows that you brought them a lot of peace into their life. You're doing things in moderation. You're healing. You're balancing your emotions out. But I also feel like this person... Um, may have gotten on good terms with somebody that they was in a marriage with so they want to have you and this person that they married to they want to reconcile with you yeah but it's like you don't want to talk to this person yeah this person is clingy they crying they spreading rumors about you could be gossiping here this is somebody you're not talking to. You don't want to talk to them. Because I feel like you don't want this person to have you all up in your head. Replaying things over and over again in your mind. Feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. You realize you was being too clingy to this person. And you had to let go. You emotionally detached from this person. It's like you're not interested in putting any more work or effort into this connection. This person may have friend zoned you in the past. Because they got on good terms with somebody they married to. Yeah, and because you're not answering your phone calls, the text messages, or you just don't want to talk to them, I feel like um, this person here could be crying. Like I said, they could be sending you long paragraphs of messages here, trying to talk to you. Y'all could have been throwing fiery dots at one another, but they want to travel towards you at a fast, rapid pace to be intimate with you. Yeah, tower in reverse. I feel like they're trying to avoid some sort of disaster, chaos, and destruction from happening between the two of you. All right, but I also feel like in the past, this person was praying on your downfall. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. I feel like they owe you an apology, but this is heavy energy on this person. Okay, they're burdened because you won't let your guard down. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius here. You won't let your guard down. You don't trust them. This person could be sending you some evil eye energy because you got your guard up. You're protecting your heart space. You already was wounded and bruised by this person. So it's like you're not going to allow this person to do any more damage. I feel like you're bossing up. I feel like you're taking control of a situation here. It could have been this person that was being controlling. 
all right this could be a baby daddy or somebody you thought was your divine counterpart or um you are the father figure could be an aries let's get one card see what your person has to say give me one card for gemini Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Mm -hmm. It says, I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this or move on? Relationships are a lot of work. Being single is easier. So that could be your energy, Gemini. All right. You're at a crossroads. So you don't know if you should stay and fight for this or move on. Because I feel like you invested so much time, energy into this connection. And you feel like relationships are a lot of work. You feel like it's not easy, but being single is easier. That's how you feel. This isn't over yet. You haven't heard the last of me. We have unfinished business. So this person is going to come back around to you. All right. So just be prepared for this person to show up. If y'all in separation now, if you haven't talked to this person, they will show up in your energy. Some of y'all block this person. Some of y'all, they will be reaching out to y'all. If you haven't heard from them yet, you will hear from them. Okay. So, you guys, um, that is your reading. Hit that bell, like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. If you want to see me do more readings, if you like this reading, if this is your story, if it resonates with you, if you stay all the way to the end, like this video up, comment, share. Don't forget to comment. I respond to all my comments and don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I do have a spring break special for private personal readings, so check out the description box. Um, Those specials will be over by April the second okay so get it while the getting is good before the getting goes gone all right it's only for a limited time i love you guys so much until next time bye gemini and i will see y'all in the bonus reading